Hello, in this video we will discuss about the insulin-like growth factor 1 signaling pathway. So, in this way, the basically is the insulin insulin-like growth factor 1 is also called somatomedin C. And this is the basically is the protein that human encode encoded by the insulin-like growth factor 1 gene. So the insulin-like growth factor 1 gene which that is encoded by it. And in this way, insulin-like growth factor is an important growth factor secreted by skeletal, skeletal cells and one of the bone-derived growth factors. Uh, regulate uh, bone-derived growth factor regulates osteoblast function and participate bone remodeling. So that it is very important for the bone formation and the bone remodeling. So insulin like growth factor 1 is the signaling cascade can be PI3K, the phosphoenocytide 3 kinase and MAP MAP kinase activation pathway. Both are the mitotic and metabolic signals. And in this way, the nucleus of the cell basically is targeting. Here is the insulin-like growth factor will be produced by this. And basically, it is the stimulated by the growth hormone. And in this way, the cascade of the uh, phosphorylation will uh, become a transcription factor to autocrine after the transcription to translation to produce insulin like growth factor which can be autocrine or paracrine and to use for the proliferation of cell differentiation and inhibit the apoptosis so the inhibition of the cell death will be occur while the differentiation and proliferation and the survival of cell will be occur so here I am drawing for understanding the hypothalamus and pituitary gland which that contain hypothalamus produce a gonadotropin releasing factor and the gonadotropin releasing gonado, uh, uh, gonado, uh, sorry, growth hormone releasing factor and growth hormone will be produced from the adenohypophysis not gonado but go go growth hormone receptor a uh, growth hormone releasing factor and the growth hormone will release and in this way the prop 1 and pit 1 is also stimulate the growth hormone from the adenohypophysis and the neurohypophysis looking like this and adenohypophysis is very important for the production of growth hormone somatostatin after this when the our production of the growth hormone will give the negative feedback of the uh, r uh, if the lower in the uh, blood growth hormone so the positive feedback feedback mechanism so in this way here is the cell which that is contain growth hormone receptor so let's begin to understand with here is the bilayer of phospholipid plasma membrane of the cell somatic cell or other stem cell uh, which that here is the growth hormone receptor and which that is bind with a jack and stat pathway so the jack phosphorylation jack protein and stat protein will be phosphorylase in the form of peer after the phosphorylation the stat will move out and it will be bind with the dna of the nucleus to transcription as a transcription factor to produce the after the translation to produce insulin like growth factor one this insulin like growth factor one will bind with the insulin receptor also and it can also bind with the insulin growth insulin like growth factor one receptor so it can be bind after the binding it will um, uh, it will uh, phosphorylation of the cascade of the phosphorylation will be occur in this way the insulin like growth factor one will stimulate the insulin substrate uh, insulin substrate and after the insulin substrate the mTOR will be uh, triggered by this and in this way the mTOR will inhibit the apoptosis uh, as well as the cell uh, damaged organelle will not apoptosis or not uh, recycle and here is the uh, as 6 k and cell growth metabolism will be occur on the other hand important thing is that let's begin to understand here is a different type of cell it is stem cell and here is uh, are some other cells of tissue and in this way here is i am giving the structure of these things which contain receptor so the insulin receptor insulin like growth factor 1 receptor insulin like growth factor 2 receptor these are the there are different type of receptor are present in the plasma membrane 
by layer of phospholipids. So in this way, here is the phospho phosphorylation after the binding with the insulin, for example, from the beta cell of the pancreas. So in this way, is the phosphorylation with the insulin receptor as well as here you can see the insulin like growth factor will be also bind with the insulin like growth factor 1 receptor with the insulin like growth factor 1 and insulin like growth factor 2 will bind with the insulin like growth factor 2 receptor after this binding the phosphorylation will be occur and this phosphorylation will stimulate the jack and stat pathway which that is a previously i am uh, i was discussing about that and here is the irs1 this is the insulin substrate basically the uh, irs is irs1 is the insulin substrate irs1 will bind with the uh, bind with the growth factor binding protein 2 and source and after the p85 protein and p11 uh, 110 protein which that is phosphorylase the phos uh, pi3k pathway and the ppk pathway and AKT pathway will be uh, stimulated by this both protein. After this both protein is basically the BAD and BCL2 which that is a stimulate and inhibit the apoptosis while the mTOR stimulation will be produced and this mTOR can be inhibited by the rapamycin drug. So the mTOR uh, is the basically is the um, uh, pathway which that is uh, 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 rapamycin will be inhibit and here is you can see the insulin growth factor 1 which that is stimulate after the phosphorylation to SHC and RAS and RAF and other so this is the basically others and RAF will stimulate the MEK uh, -E -E S pathway and ARCS pathway and SGK pathway this all things and SHC is also uh, stimulate the JNK genus kinase pathway and MAP kinase with a P38 and in this way this will lead to become a transcriptional factor and this can be CGUN, CGUN and c force and c mice and ARC1. This was the uh, transcription factor you can understand this is the transcription factor. And in this way, after the becoming the transcription factor will move into the nuclear side. After the moving into the nuclear side, the DNA, which that is the transcriptional side with a specific gene, will bind with this transcription factor to become a uh, to produce a messenger RNA from the DNA. Uh, and in this way, you can understand as well here is the nucleus and contain DNA and in this way here is the binding region after the binding with the co uh, transcription factor binding protein and after the binding to produce the messenger RNA and give the response for the cell survival and proliferation so let's begin to understand on the other hand here is the male and female we will understand about the growth hormone as well as insulin like growth factor one so what is this here is the fat which that is a free fatty acid or lipogenesis will be increased so the lipogenesis will be increased due to the growth hormone remember about that which that's released from the pituitary gland and here is the pancreas you can understand pancreas produce insulin and insulins also stimulate the free fatty acid and lipogenesis so the lipogenesis is stimulated by the insulin while here is the uh, it stimulates the lipogenesis, stimulates the growth hormone and after this growth hormone which that is basically uh, lipolysis will be occur with the growth hormone so remember about that on the other hand the liver which that is uh, very low density lipoprotein output and low density uh, low density uh, lipoprotein catabolism and uh, uh, hepatic fat which that is, will be uh, increased uh, uh, decrease so that is why uh, basically increase so in this way here is the after this the transportation will be occur on the other hand here the muscle which that stimulate and fat oxidation protein uh, formation and muscle mass will be occur due to the growth hormone but in the case of the insulin like growth factor which that is basically stimulated by the growth hormone same like the mechanism is the same is a growth hormone basically and the, it is different but it look like a growth hormone so in this way here is the increase of 
secretion of estradiol which the woman is more and male is less while the decreased growth hormone secreted insulin like growth factor abnormal obesity will be occur so thanks for watching